How's it going everybody? My name is Lullablade. Welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize super flat worlds. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a like as I would really appreciate it. Alright, so how do you customize a super flat world? When we're talking about customization here, we are saying completely choose what blocks are in what place for your super flat world. Whether you want just a completely flat plane to do builds on, or you want a giant lava ocean, or a glamorous world filled with diamonds, you have come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to do that. So, as you can see here, we are in the create new world screen. So what we're going to do first is go to more world options right here world type default we're going to change that to super flat and hit this little customize button right down here so as you can see this screen will show up showing what the default super flat world looks like so what we're going to do is hit right here presets and as you can see this screen shows up it might be confusing and a bit overwhelming but don't worry i will break it down for you so as you can see minecraft actually gives you nine presets for super flat worlds and as you can see every time we click on a new one this code here changes a little bit now that is the key. What we're gonna be doing is just throwing out any template they've made for us and just going straight to the code for ourselves so we can make it exactly how we want it. So again, I told you, even though this might look like a mess, it's really, really simple when you just break it down. So a good way to think about this is kind of like a cake. So you have the bottom layer starting on the left over here, and then as you progress across towards the right, it's the top layers of the cake, or in this case, the top blocks or closest to the surface of your Minecraft world. So at the bottom here for this default, the bottom of the cake, the bottom of the world, you have bedrock. As you can see, and coming all the way up to the top, you have grass blocks. Okay, so now let's take a little bit of a closer look at this code here. So as you can see, it says Minecraft colon bedrock comma. Okay, so that is one section of block. And so looking at this, what this is, is actually the block ID for bedrock. It's just bedrock. It's pretty simple. It is very simple for most blocks, simply just the name of it, but for some blocks, like grass block, it's a little bit different. As you can see, grass underscore block, that is the block ID. Just remember that term. And so before each block that you want to choose, you're going to put Minecraft colon, then the block ID, and then a comma to end and signify that you are ending off that section of the block. Now in this template case, there is only one layer of bedrock at the bottom. So as you can see, it just says Minecraft bedrock, comma, that's it for the section. However, for this next layer, which is the dirt, as you can see, it says two star, which is shift eight on your keyboard, Minecraft colon dirt comma. So that's the end of that section there from here to this comma. So what does this two star mean? How is that different than here? What that means is we're doing two vertical layers of dirt rather than just one layer of bedrock. As you know, if you've dug down in creative in a world, there's one layer of bedrock at the bottom. And so that's why there is no number in front of this Minecraft bedrock because there's no number that just signifies one layer. Otherwise, you're going to have to specify how many vertical layers you want of the block that you put in front of it. So for this template, it is one layer of bedrock, two layers of dirt, and then one layer of grass block. So just take a minute to comprehend, kind of understand how this is going to work. Again, you would start off by putting the number of layers of the block you want. If it's just one, you don't have to put any number. If it is multiple, you're going to have to put the number, a star, then Minecraft colon, and then whatever the block ID is. So when you're choosing what blocks you want to have in your world, I would recommend just Googling whatever the block's name is, block ID, and it'll show up what the ID is just to confirm that you have it right, even though for a lot of cases it is self-explanatory. I would still do it just to check. That is basically deconstructing all of this annoying code. As you can see, there is some other stuff with like biomes, and as well as that structures, in most cases, you don't actually want any of that stuff in your world, especially if you're trying to customize. You don't want structures. You don't want biomes. It's just really unnecessary stuff. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to be going over how to customize biomes and structures. And another reason as to why we're not doing that in this tutorial is that the code is a lot more complex than this here, and it would take a while to explain. And it's probably not what you came here to learn. So anyway, enough of me talking. Let's get into actually showing some examples of this. All right, so just for a simple example here, I'm going to appeal to all of you glamour ones that just want to have all the wealth in the world. So let's say we want our world to be just full of diamond blocks, but we also do want some bedrock at the bottom of it. And you know what? Instead of just one layer of bedrock, we'll do two. So to start off, what we're going to do is type two star 
Minecraft colon and then the block ID which is just bedrock comma so that ends the bedrock section now on to our diamond block section so let's say I don't know we want 10 layers of diamond blocks 10 vertical layers of diamond blocks we're gonna do 10 star Minecraft colon diamond underscore block so I found out the diamond block ID with a simple Google search of diamond block block ID very simply like that so yeah if you're planning to create a world as simple as just two layers like that super easy so we can go ahead and hit use preset as you can see it'll show us just as like kind of a confirmation that you got everything right of what your world is going to look like so as you can see at the bottom two layers of bedrock on the top 10 layers of block of diamond or diamond blocks we're going to go ahead and hit done and yeah coming out here i'm going to turn off generated structures i would guess you're probably doing the same again if you're customizing a world in such a dramatic way you probably don't want any structures there if we hit done again i'll make mine in creative i would guess you're probably also in creative if you're in survival totally fine and i'm going to do peaceful so that we don't get any annoying people spawning so now we can go ahead and create the world and as you can see it will give us the exact template that we set up all right here we go and as you can see we are in a world full of just diamond blocks man it feels good to be rich but let's just check for some confirmations so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten layers of diamond blocks that's exactly what we put in and then one two layers of bedrock and we're going to catch ourselves before we just completely die so yeah as you can see that was a simple example of how to do it you can make it more complex so coming back in here if we want to do so let's say we want i don't even know we'll just do an extreme example for this next one five different types of blocks in your super flat world so you want the bottom to just be one layer of bedrock this time so you're going to start off with minecraft colon bedrock comma all right, and then let's say we want, I don't know, five layers of stone. Why not? So Minecraft colon stone, that is the block ID for stone, comma, and that section. You know what? We'll make this one fun. We'll do a section of lava. How about that? Okay, so we don't need to put any number because we're only going to have one layer of lava here. So Minecraft colon lava and the section. And keeping up with kind of the random streak, let's do... I don't know four layers of obsidian so we're going to do four star minecraft colon obsidian and then to top it off let's just add some white concrete let's say this is probably if you're doing some building world like my tutorial world is this just complete flat white concrete to top it off we'll go ahead and add a nice three layers of white concrete so that would be three star minecraft colon white underscore concrete and just a reminder if you don't know the block id of something simply google it and you'll find it but yeah as you can see it looks really intimidating from like a distance but now that we've broken it down it's really very simple so yeah let's go ahead and hit use preset it'll show us the monstrosity that we've created bedrock stone lava obsidian white concrete pretty random but you know what we'll just do it to show how this works Again, I'll just make sure all of your settings are how you want them to be before creating the world. And yeah, let's go ahead and check this one out again. All right, so we've spawned in the world here. As you can see, it is just a pure white canvas, perfect for building. Again, this is what I use as my top choice. But let's dig down to just show that all of our layers have filled in. So what did we put? We put three layers of white concrete. I believe then it was four layers of obsidian, if I'm not mistaken. So one, two, three, four. Yep, into a layer of lava that looks about right. And then if we go down, as you can see, we're in the stone for a few layers and we're about to hit bedrock. Maybe digging down with lava was not the best idea. Here is our layer of bedrock. So yeah, this was a really random example. Probably you're going to use something like concrete, maybe a few concretes in a bedrock. That would be my recommendation if you want just a clean slate world. But yeah, that is how you customize super flat worlds in Minecraft. As you can see, it looks intimidating from the start, but it's pretty simple once you break it down. You can just use my method however you want to build your world. You can do it. Just follow the instructions, have fun, make some cool worlds, and yeah. With that being said, you have reached the end of the tutorial. I hope this video was helpful, as that is always the number one goal. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. 
Drop a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or need any clarification on anything shown in this video. If this video helped you, slap a like on it because it really helps me out a bunch. Check out my second channel, Little Blade Extras, for even more Minecraft content. I've been Lolo Blade, and until next time, peace. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and the